Hey there, everybody. I get this situation. Sorry, I'm a little late, but I take care of some stuff before this. What's up, Crimson? Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that. Didn't find any of those Battle Masters yet, but I'm going to go look again sometime, man. Hopefully, I can find something for you. The ones I found, uh, they were gone by the time I got there. Sorry. Another hour. No. Man, come on now. Microphone's falling apart. Sorry. It's falling down. <laughs> Sorry about that. What's up, uh, Swag Blaster? Skybite? What's up, man? Eric, how you doing? Sorry, my uh, microphone. Golly, come on, man. Something wrong with my microphone is falling apart at the base. Hope y'all can hear me. What's up, G1? Red Alert, what's up, man? All right. So, yeah, I, I got, I was out yesterday out and about with some friends, and um, I got three boxes in, so... One of the boxes is right here. I'll show you right here. So, Mr. David Hill, thank y'all so much. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna open up this box first. Let's see, what we've got I got three boxes, so we will see what is in store for me to review. Hopefully, so I hope y'all having a good day today. Well, the Redskins lost as usual, so I'm used to it. But oh well. I got stuff to open. That's if that's a fair trade, I guess. All right, let's see what we got first. So, not a wren. Thank you so much. All right. So, the first box I got today is Mr. Jabber from Fans Toys. Or <clears throat> fan, eh, fans, toys, whatever. Uh, Mr. Jabber, I'm gonna try to get a uh, review out of him tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I will see him tomorrow. I know other people have already done one, and I think uh, Skullface is doing his tomorrow too. So I may wait. I don't know, but I'm gonna try to. Uh, you know, you, you don't know what I got, Angry Mike Hush. So Gabriel, thank y'all so much. Do I have a? Uh, uh, select uh, Star Convoy. No, I'm passing that Star Convoy. I don't like that mold. I think it's trash. So I'm not going to get that one. But uh, I've seen some reviews on it. Larkin's Lair did a review on it. Really good review, but I just... Yeah, I'm good on that. I don't like the Powder Prime stuff. But, like I said, the first thing I got was Jabber. Jibber Jabber. Blur from the Fans Toys. I got another box. This is from the Chosen Prime. I couldn't find this guy anywhere else, so I had to pre-order through them. So that is pretty good. What's up, Gary's Transformer Reviews? How are you doing? Thank you so much. But yeah, I'm not going to get the Star Convoy. I'm sorry. I'm not going to say it's trash, but I just, it, it just I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got the Chosen Prime. That over on the side. Today we got the Siege or Generation Selects smoke screen. So I finished off this mold. I got all the other three, and I got smoke screen. I was gonna get through Pulse or Amazon, but they uh, the pre-order sold out, so I had to go through uh, Chosen Prime to get it. So that is smoke screen. Not a fan of his diaper. <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a big. Big old crotch thing. So here, I got a big box from Mr. Terry Wong. We all know who that is. It's Terry's TFS Club. Got a big old box from him. And they, the customs. It's not beat up very bad like it is usually. So that's good. That's good. That's really good. I'm happy. I was supposed to get this on Friday. And I don't know where it went. Uh, it went all around Ar you know, central Arkansas. So, um, you know, I didn't know. But finally got it in Saturday. So I'm excited. I don't collect Transformers, but I like Transformers. Well, okay. That's cool. I know you're a big old Star Wars fan. That's fine. I like Star Wars. I just don't collect them. That's uh, that's awesome. Uh, it's trash because the robot mode. Yeah, I, I just don't like I don't like that uh, that uh, mold of uh, Optimus Prime and stuff. So. I didn't like the Robins either. 
So yeah. do you do the power dishes have faction says on them? Um I think so. I think they have the Autobot symbol. Um, don't quote me. I had to look. I've already done a review of two of them. I got the third one in, but I don't remember offhand. What's up, Kabar? How are you doing, fella? I think you're going to TFCon on Saturday, right? I'll get to see you on Friday or whatever day. I'm going to get to see you or meet you. That's awesome. Let's see. Man, he's packed some really good, man. All right. Golly. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, cool. He sent me some little... uh. Stickers, some faction stick stickers. That's awesome. Oh, they got me some Autobot ones too. I wonder, did they come with something like this? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But he just threw that in, so very nice. I will have to give him a virtual hug or something. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It's a Jagger rule. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, let's see. Let's open this first. I think. Uh, yeah, look. Man, he packed this up. Good. Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, the first item I'm going to show you, I'll probably, I'm going to do a review for it, and it may, I may put it up for sale also, because I just wanted to look at it. And, um, so if anybody is looking for this guy or wants to buy this guy, um, you might have a chance. I may, I probably won't keep this one. All right, so first up, I have the Mech Fans Toys Ultra Maginus. A Maginus? A Maginus? This is a 2.0 version, I think. So, this is the Mech Fans Toys. So, if you are into the uh, Legends Plus Plus or whatever, then um, yeah, I'm going to do a review on that. Probably do a comparison with the Magic Square, and then I'll probably put it up for sale if anybody wants to uh, buy it. For a decent price, I won't charge you much. All right, so the second thing I'm really looking forward to, I've been waiting for this guy. A lot of people have already gotten him already and really like him. So I'm excited to uh, take a look at this fella. And I love this company. So, what's up, Kato? Man, what's up? And you, Tommy? How you doing, fella? I got the Helix or Alcad. Alcad? Alcad? Whatever. Oh man, I butcher names. Come on. Iron Factory. This is Helix. So, just one more to finish off the combiner, which I'm probably going to just combine him for uh, the review and everything, but I think I'm just going to uh, uh, keep them separately because I think they're just good by themselves. I don't think they even need to com be combined. I think they would have sold well without it being combined, but anyways. Yeah, he's a beefy boy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so that's cool. So, yeah, I think I'm going to... just got him on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah, I think I will, uh, Kato. I think I will dig that guy. I love Iron Factory. I just... Come on, man. I like the fans' toys of legends. All right. Then the last thing I got today for y'all and for me... I don't think a lot of people really care for this one because you know they've been it's been taking forever for them to put these out. But I am four in, so I had to get them all. You know, I don't have to, but you know, I want to get them combined. So I got the Generation Toys Bulance. This is their first aid. So yeah, I mean, I've been there. The three, the three out of the four have been really good. I didn't like uh, blades. I didn't like him very much. I love the alt mode, but the uh, robot mode was trash. Uh, but this one looks, it's got some good heft to him too, man. Golly. You can knock out a little baby with this thing. But, yeah, a lot of people just, you know, as far as, you know, because of scale, you know, because of, you know, Toy World and Zeta are so big that Generation Toys is not scaling with anything. Uh, but... I like Generation Toys. I wish I put out more stuff. I, I like most of their stuff, especially their Bomber Megatron. Really good Transformer. I love both the alt mode and the bot mode, and it's got a nice stand. So, yeah. So, Generation Toys Bulance is a... So, I just need one more. I need a hotspot, and I'll have the 
Defensor. But I want a bigger Defensor. I would love to uh, have Zeta make one and everything. So that thing would be pretty cool. All right. So today, I got a pretty good haul. Very excited. I got Jabber from Fans Toys. Fans Toys. And I got the Generation Select Smokescreen. Very cool. Then I picked up Bulance from Generation Toys. Generation Toy. Whatever. Why don't they just call them Generation Toys? Come on now. And I got the Iron Factory. This guy. And uh, Helix or Alkid. 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 And I got the Mech Fans Toys Ultra Meganess. This is the 2.0 version. The Legends Plus scale and everything. So. Let's see what people are saying. He's so big, makes me want the MMC so much more. Yeah, I wish MMC would release their rest of their DDD stuff. Um, you Lance, I like that name. Yeah, it's a cool name. Uh, if you want to see Sign Factory at the third party panel, ask them about the runabout. Yeah, I'm 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 excited for the runabout runabuck. Uh, I think it'll be coming out soon. Give it time. Um, this year. Have three exclusive figures plus X Trans of Oscar and Plano. Yeah, I saw they got the the watermelon uh, mirage, or whatever the G2 mirage or something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one probably. Um, I am definitely getting the G2 dead end, and uh, they got the uh, um, MFC's got the uh, bulkhead also. So um, I don't know. I may be in on that too, but I doubt it. We'll see. Jabber such a name like Kudo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, Shay? Thank y'all so much for coming in. Um, I think I'll stock up on my empty from Terry. Well, hey, dude, if you want, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to um, review this and probably do a comparison with the uh, Magic Square one. If you want to buy this, Kato, I definitely, I'll, I'll hook you up, man, if you want to buy it, man. If you want to start on your uh, McFan Soy stuff. Not feeling the exclusives. I heard Agabus will have, oh, yeah, hey, man, I got to look at that GX uh, Red Dragon yesterday. I got to look at uh, uh, Mr. Dakota, Mr. Primal Sabbath. I got to look at his yesterday, and it is it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is just so stunning. Like I did, you know, I'm gonna get to look at uh, Tyler G. I don't know if y'all know anybody about Tyler G. I've had him on the show quite a few times. He's gonna let me borrow his to review, and man, I don't want to give it up. I tell him every day that I'm not gonna give it to him. I'm just gonna keep it, man. So uh, yeah, I think they are doing a bulkhead. I think uh, Mr. Dalton, I think they are doing their bulkhead for the uh, for exclusive. I think. Don't quote me on it. I've, I've heard rumors and everything. Uh, yeah, TFCon is coming up next week. Uh, I'll be out there Thursday through Sunday. You in for X Transpot Minister Tory versions? Um, no, I've done the uh, the uh, cartoon versions, which I have all four of them. I'm waiting for Motor Master, and I'm doing the uh, G2 versions. I'm good on the toy versions. I don't need any more, to be honest. Uh, yeah, the exclusive are kind of meh. You know, I, I, I'm just, like I said, I'm looking forward to the G2 dead end, but that's about it. I don't want the Plan X. I don't have anything. only thing I have Plan X is the Starscream uh, mold. I have that in a clear one. That's the only thing I have from Plan X, so I'm not in on the uh, Grimlock. Uh, sure, missing. Okay, yeah. I'll definitely, I'll definitely. You want to buy a Kato? Definitely, it's yours, man. Uh, may pick up G2 Mirage. Man, the Watermelon Mirage. Um... No, they'll have enough, man. I don't think that's going to be a big seller, to be honest. You know, it's kind of a niche thing. Um, there will be some people that really want it, but I think overall you're going to – I don't think anything's going to sell out, the, uh, sell out this year. I think you're going to be able to pick it up online. Or, you know, if you're – well, you're going to the show, Kabar. So, yeah, I think you'll be able to pick it up. I don't think it should be a hassle. What's up, Rob? First time I've seen you here, man. Thank you very much. Um, should I go official or hello? Um – I only mess with the official, and I I like the official. A lot of people don't, you know. It's one of the not the one of the better MPs that's been put out. Um, Hoodlum, you know, is kind of a split. You know, most people, I never, it's never really really in the middle. Most people hate it or they love it. Um, so I I don't know, man. You know, Hoodlum was kind of an older mold that fans always put out. You know, it has some good things. Articulation is not that great on it. There's some you know iffy spots. Uh, so uh, I really can't. I mean, I, like I, said, I got the official one, now and I'm good with it. You know, I've been, you know, probably eventually down the road they'll make another one. Um, Takar will make another one. So, you know, uh, say hello to Engineer Hoist and uh, yeah, I'll see. Pay, uh, I don't, I don't know if I will see Hoist or not. I'll definitely see a uh, Patriot Prime. Uh, we're supposed to meet up, and you know, we'll probably see each other in the dealer room and everything. Um, 
seen a couple years ago. Well, there was pictures, um, and I think it's going to be an MSC exclusive. So, what up? What's up, Thomas? Thank you so much. First time seeing you, I think. Thank you very much for coming in. What's up, Dare? How you doing, fella? Thank you for coming in. Official versus Hoodlum. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I don't think I think whichever one you choose between the Fans Toys Hoodlum and the official. Uh, I mean, you know, I like I said, I have not messed with the Hoodlum. I've watched reviews on it. And the articulation is kind of lacking in little parts, and the you know the paint is scratching, which you know that happens with that happens with the car too, also. But you know, I, I just really don't think you can make a bad decision. Whichever one you choose, I think it'll be fine. Like I said, I chose the official, and I'm I'm fine with it. I don't need a huddle them, so yeah. Oh yeah, you can finally caught one. Thank you so much, man. Uh, anything hoping to buy TFCon? Um, not really. I mean, anything, I, mean, I have tons of star screams. You know, I'm looking for the only star scream I really need that's on the main line, I think, is the Takara Armada version. I need that. Um, and if I find anything other, you know, other silly, you know, star screen stuff, I'll definitely buy that. Um, I'll definitely go and go to Handy and buy some stuff from him. I always buy, I buy stuff from Handy when I go to TFCon. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not really looking for anything special. I'm actually getting a, a prototype. I'm buying a prototype from a friend of mine. Uh, of Starscream. It's the uh, Cybertron, the big, huge one. I'm getting a prototype of that, and um, I'm, I'm looking really forward to that, so um, I'll, bef I'll definitely be getting that. I may do a review on that, too. Um, I got my first uh, prototype from uh, the boys off of Stasis Lock. They got me one for my birthday last year, so I'm excited to get the uh, prototype of uh, that big Cybertron Starscream, but as far as anything else, I'm not really looking for anything. You know, I'll just walk around. If I, something catches my eye, you know, I'll probably get it. I might get that bulkhead if it does come out. I haven't got the robust or striker yet. Well, that'd be pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know. I doubt I'll get in the bulkhead. I don't know. I'd love to find a G1 Cup gun and a G1 Blur gun. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, the smaller times. Yeah, because I collect. I try to get the pretenders. I'm getting also a pretender there. Uh, I'm buying it from the, the, the same guy that's selling me the uh, star screen. Um, I'm getting a pretender and some of the little smaller weapons are always, you know, you can buy the, you know, the action figure itself, but it's the little guns that are always missing that cost a whole lot. Uh, let's see what's special about the Takara Micron Starscream, which one from prom? Um, nothing. I don't think it just got, you know, it's a little, uh, they got stickers. They, I think they come with stickers and it comes with a little Micron that you, uh, Micron that you can, you know, sticker up also. I think that's the only difference or something or what's special about the. I mean, um, but I need the Takara Armada from the Mar Armada line from the uh, Starscream. I need the Takara Starscream from that. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, anyone interested in the APC Prime? Actually, I got that on uh, coming to me, uh, Crane. I have the Prime. It should be, uh, it's going to be a little bit. It'll probably be uh, either a week or two from coming but I ordered that from uh, Terry Wong so I'll be getting that and uh, reviewing him too so uh, uh, are there any celebrities you're looking to meet at TFCon <laughs> well I mean I'm looking forward to meeting Patriot Prime I've never met him uh, I've met Bobby Skullface quite a few times I've been to his house I'm actually staying at his house Thursday night so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to meeting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody in the ROC, you know, that I always see. I'm looking forward to meeting new people. I always love doing that, you know, but I love hanging out with the, you know, the people I've always gone to see up at TFCon. So I'm really excited. It's it's a great time. Uh, love to go one of those part swap meets. Um, you know, the parts parties are pretty cool. There's quite a few. Um, uh, and, you know, during the, uh, I remember at BotCon, there used to be a lot of them. Uh, TFCon's got some too, so you know. You, I think they put up their hotel information in the lobby. You know what rooms they're in, and everything. And you can go walk around and all that stuff. So, <sighs> let's see. Uh, well, yeah, that's what I meant. The Micron Legend. Oh, I have nothing special. I'm just I collect Star Scream, so that, I mean that's what I'm. You know, one of my need. So that's nothing really special about it. Uh, thirty minutes with Bobby. I did a thirty minutes with Bobby actually a long time ago. I think last year. I mean, if you want to look up in my older videos uh we did one a long time ago but i can do I, we talked about doing another one too so it may come who knows i've done one with his wife and one of his kids and uh, it was a good time so go look for those if you want to watch those i've done one with uh robert d done one with uh, t2rx6 also so 
did one with Greg also, Greg for Mercy, but it it was so messed up uh, that my internet was crap at that time, and it just it was so bad I just didn't release it. So Transformer Studio Series Leader Class Overlord. Yeah, so yeah, the, so they showed four new studio series. Um, I need to do a what's new in Transformers. I may throw that one in um, and do that. So yeah, they showed an Overlord. So I wonder what that's going to be. I'm going to attempt to get away from work. Oh, that'd be cool, Kato. Yeah, I hope you can, man. That'd be awesome if you showed up, man. Definitely hit me up or something and, um, you know, private message or something and we'll uh, definitely meet up, man. Are there any online part swap meets like Lego has Brickling? Um, not that I know of, Matt. I don't think so. Don't quote me on that, but I don't, I don't think there's online uh, part meets. I meant part swap meets. Um... Uh, got to do a proper around 30 with Robert D. His was too short. I, I did actually, there's, I've done like two or three with uh, Robert D. Now the last one we did was really short. It was before we were recording Shirecast, but we did a, a complete one a, a long time ago too. So if you want to look it up, you can. It's in my library of uh, reviews and everything. Yeah, New Age Toys has a, a gold version and a clear version. So I hit up Terry and see if he's going to get them. So if he does get them, which I'm sure he will, I'll definitely get those. So I will have those and I'll review those when they come in. I'll be scared to transform that Megatron, man. The clear one and the gold one? Mmm, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't not going. Come on, Bo. Why are you not going, Bo? You should be hanging out with us, Bo. Uh, how's Greg doing? Uh, he was having some health issues. Eh, he's fine. You can always hit, hit him up, man. He's always willing to talk to anybody, man. Uh, he's doing fine. He goes to the doctor once in a while to get checks up, checkups and everything, but I don't know everything, you know, that he's doing, but when he talks about it, you know, he's, he seems fine. Uh, if it's in Chicago or closer next year. Uh, more than likely, it probably will be back in Chicago. I think they've been flip-flopping every year between Chicago, so more than likely, it will probably be in Chicago. I hope it's in Reston again. That's a good area. It's a really fun area and everything. All right, so um, I just want to come on, talk to y'all and everything. Um, I'll show you again what I got. Got this fella. The, uh, Helix from, uh, uh, what is this, Iron Factory? <laughs> I got the uh, Bulance. Bulance. This is Generation Toys. Also picked up Smokescreen from Siege or the Generation Selects. I got Mr. Jabber from Fans Toys. And I picked up Ultra. Oh, no, it's not Ultra. It's Ultra. <laughs> Wait, come on now. Ultra Meganus. So this is the 2.0 version from um, <clears throat> Mech Fans Toys. So that's a uh, Legends Plus Plus. It's all good stuff and everything. Well, how's everybody else doing today, man? I'm glad y'all. Uh, thank y'all for some coming in. Are you getting Studio Series Soundwave and Bumblebee and other figures? Yeah, I always I'm picking up most of. I've, I think I've gotten all the Studio Series except for maybe one or two Bumblebees. But yeah, I'm definitely picking up Studio Series Thomas. I think it's cool. I would sell all my Michael Bay the Bayverse stuff. I would sell all the stuff from the, the first of them. Or the first they get uh, they provided for us and just collect the studio series if someone would buy all of the uh, stuff I have but uh, we need a TFCon here in Tulsa <laughs> dude I would love yeah you know, I would love it if uh, TFCon went to like Memphis or maybe Nashville that would be pretty cool St. Louis I think that'd be pretty cool that'd be a really good uh, driving distance only three hours from Memphis so that would be pretty cool uh yeah, it looks a little different. Yeah, the Takara Armada starts getting, you know, a little, I think it's got better paint or something or something on that kind of stuff. So I just need that one. I have the uh, Hasbro version. I just want the Takara version too. Thank you so much, Kato. Legends Plus Plus. <laughs> it is, I'm sorry, Plus Plus. I said Plus Plus. No, there. Denver? Well, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I, I doubt it'll ever be in Denver. I don't know. I, they went out to California. I think that they'll, you know, go out to California again this year. I think they could do two TF cons actually a year, to be honest. I think they could do one on the West Coast and an East Coast. So, uh, we need a TF con in Australia. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they could have, I mean, they could have one on Australia. Does Australia have any TF uh, Transformer conventions at all? I don't know for sure. I didn't ever ask, but um, I got the Jabber coming up from the toy guy. That's where I got mine. That's where I got my uh, Jabber at, Matt. 
very nice. Uh, we're on Black Series and Redden, but I did it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think they, uh, I saw the Mandalorian toy or whatever they were, or something got re-released or something again, or I don't know. I saw something on Facebook about it. I don't, I don't look much into Star, Star Wars stuff, uh, but I do like the movie, so I'm excited for the new movie. It's called L Legend LG. Okay. Uh, perhaps the mech fan stories could be legends, big and tall legends. <laughs> yeah, it could be. They're a little, yeah, they're usually a little bigger than everything. So I am looking forward to their uh, Rodimus Prime. It looks pretty good. I may get, I may go in on that one. So, all right, Kato, man, I hope to see you, man, uh, at TFCon. I hope you can slip away from work a little bit and then, you know, come in and uh, say hi to everybody. So hopefully get to. Thank you so much for coming in, man. Yeah, definitely hit that like button. You know, the like, shares, prayers, and care bears. And I'm trying to get to 2,500 on uh, uh, 2,500 subs. Gee, was I like, uh. uh so if you, if you haven't subbed yet, do that for me, please. Or, you know, share my stuff out and have other people sub and all that stuff and everything. So, uh, need a group photo as much as you can. Oh, yeah, there'll be tons of, man. Especially the uh, RLC is going to be taking a lot of pictures. Jose, he's a, he's a good, uh, he, he's on good, he's good on that. And um, I think we are going to have something on Saturday for the Shattercast uh, thing. Uh, me, Bobby, Justin, and Robert D. will be at TFCon for Shattercast. And we will um, be doing something Saturday for, used to, we, you know, I remember we had a good one on the, in, at the North Carolina show. We had a, like a live thing going on. And uh, we record, you know, people and everything. So we're going to do hopefully something on Saturday to uh you know, just to get together, hang out, and all that stuff. You know, Friday will be the RLC party. Everybody got to go to that. It's going to be a good time and everything. So, and I got these stickers too, which is really cool. He threw these stickers in. Very nice. Thank you so much. I don't know if they came with one of the figures or something, but I don't think it did. I think it just threw them in or something. So, pretty cool. I'm going to use these definitely. Uh, you're under close to 2,500. It's been. In... Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've had a great time, man. I've. I've you know, I'm just having fun doing this. You know, I love everybody that, you know, like, you know, watches my stuff and likes it and everything. I'm so grateful for everybody that even, you know, when I started doing this, I didn't think I, anybody was going to watch my stuff. But it's it's amazing, and I've had a great time, and I'm still having fun. So I'm not putting out as much as, as I used to because I've been uh, working. So uh, I'll try to put as much, uh, and I won't, I'll be, I won't be working this week because, I'm like I said, I'm flying out uh, Thursday uh, to go to TFCon and stuff. So. Um, yeah, Jose will probably <laughs> interview everyone for a verbally challenge. Yeah, he did that last year, I think. That was pretty fun. Uh, I missed out on Coot, and I'm hoping Fanswell will do a reissue now since, um, I haven't heard anything. And did, I think they already did a reissue of Coot, didn't they? I don't know. Is he, is he, uh, expensive to find now? Is he hard to find still? Hmm. I didn't know he sold out. I thought he was one of the ones that didn't sell out. I don't know for sure. I didn't could have. I got one, and he's good. He's he's. I like Coop. He's all right. Transformation's a kind of pain in the butt, but so is every fan's toys transformation. All right. So thank you so much for coming in. Like I said, please go hit that like button, uh, sub if you haven't. All that wonderful stuff. And thank you so much once again. Um, like I said, I hope to see everybody at TiaCon that I you know that's you know it's going to come out. You know, just come up and say hi. I'm the short, fat, white guy with a beard. You know, but I know it's hard to find those, you know, in, at a TFCon, you know, convention. I know it's hard to find. But anyways, but yeah, I want to thank y'all so much for coming in, man. I really appreciate that. And um, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, unboxing. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks. This is a little awkward moment. And broadcast. Mm-hmm.